Over 500 years ago, this region was part of the Rajput Kingdom of Mewar, controlled from the great fort of Kumbalgarh. Rana Kumba, who was the great creator of the magnificent fortress of Kumbalgarh, saw his empire expand from Gujarat down to Madhya Pradesh. The same period that you see Kumbhagar built on this astonishing scale also produces the Jain temple at Ranakpur. But it wasn't Rana Kumba who thought of building the Ranakpur temple. It was one of the ministers of Rana Kumba, Tharna Shah, who uh, wanted permission for, from him to build a Jain temple in Ranakpur in the 15th century. It is believed that the idea came to Dharna Shah one night as he was asleep. In his dream, he saw images of a great structure. He believed that his dream was a calling and was determined to recreate the vision he had seen that night. The court of Maharana Kumbha had so many well-known architects. Out of them, one gets picked. Deepak's big break came when he presented his design to Dharna Shah. As in much of Indian historical architecture, no physical drawings or blueprints remain to conclusively show how these buildings were planned. His vision matched Dharna Shah's dream. The rest is history. The Chaturmukh, or the four-faced temple at Ranakpur, is massive. At over 48,000 square feet, spread over three floors, you could fit almost 17 tennis courts into it. 1,444 pillars, 426 columns, 29 halls, 80 domes. And astonishingly, there are very few walls. Each pillar had subsections, and each section was independently worked upon by different artisans. Every surface is intricately carved. Some defy the imagination. Six centuries on, the temple at Ranakpur remains one of India's great artistic accomplishments. Many even consider it perfect. But is it? Dharna Shah, the man who built it, and Deepak, its architect, made sure that it wasn't entirely perfect. Among the thousands of perfect columns and pillars is one aberration, a pillar that is deliberately crooked. In a modern age, aided by advancements in technology, perfection remains a distant ideal. 600 years ago, at the Chaturmukh temple at Ranakpur, medieval mortals may have deliberately stopped short of achieving it.